Hi guys, welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with you guys, okay? Whatever's going on, we're going to see what what we get, what spirit shows us for you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, and all of your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what you need, leave everything else behind. You will definitely know. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That's the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, this is going to be for my Virgos. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Let's see. What's currently going on with my Virgo spirit? What's currently going on with my Virgos? Five of Pentacles. Who's leaving who out in the cold? Some of you guys are struggling. Some of you guys, some of you guys are struggling financially. Some of you guys, you're struggling with some health issues. Some of you guys, you're struggling with the fact that somebody may have left you out in the cold. Somebody may have gone AWOL on you. Who's struggling, spirit? Who's struggling? The moon. Somebody that's hiding their emotions. You're hiding your emotions. Cancer energy. Some of you guys, you're hiding the fact that you are struggling financially, health-wise, emotionally. You're hiding that. Why is my Virgo hiding that, spirit? Show me the moon. Two of Swords. I, uh, first thing I heard was I'm scared. What are you scared of? That it's going to affect your, your home. It's going to affect your stability. It's going to affect your, your foundation. It's going to affect the image that you have portrayed. That's a big energy right there. Right now, present moment, for some of you guys, there's a loss here. Whether it's a loss with your money, a loss within a relationship, a connection. You're hiding the, your, the emotions that's attached to that. Two of Swords, why? Because you're at crossroads on how to handle it. There, you're, there's fear here. I feel, like, I, feel, I feel like there's a big energy of trying to protect an image here. That's for some of you guys, not for everybody, but I'm, giving, I'm getting a big energy here. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Yeah, what's influencing this? What's influencing this spirit, this loss? Page of Pentacles. I feel like I'm getting an energy of you, somebody here. It's like you invested in something. You're investing in something that didn't give you a big return it gave you a little return you invested more than what you got back in return page of pentacles is new there's new potential a new opportunity the opportunity is minute show me this page of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy the empress taurus libra energy King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Huh. For some of you guys, you may have had some type of financial loss due to a child. A child that you love a whole bunch. I feel like for some of you guys, for someone here, you don't want others to know what it is this child has done. I feel like this is a big energy, whereas a lot of you guys right now, present moment, the reason why there's a sense of loss, it's not just, it's just not, it's not just financially, it's not just um, within a relationship or even with your health. I feel like it's like a total, 
a total body loss, like mind, body, soul loss. And I'm getting an energy of trying to stay strong through this. But the thing that influences is that you gave your whole heart to something. You gave your whole heart, but really and truly, were you really like, did you really show, did you really express how you felt? The Empress, I'm getting someone here that was giving, 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 but wasn't getting much in return. But not only that, it's like I'm getting someone here that was a mother or a father more than a husband or a wife or more than a girlfriend or a bar friend. Someone here that crippled someone within a connection. This is giving me a coddling energy. This is whether whether it's a relationship, whether it's dealing with a child, a family member, whatever this is, it's like I feel like you have suffered some type of great loss. Why? Because you coddled it. You gave way too much of yourself to it. Way too much of yourself to it when it only offered something minute. It didn't offer a grand return. It wasn't presented to you in a different type of way, I feel like it was a, presum a presumption. It gave, it's giving me an energy of you going big or going home, but you're very disappointed by something that actually did not give you that nobody said you were going to have it all is what I'm getting here in this energy. But I don't know why there's a sense of disappointment here when I don't feel like you were truly expressing how you truly felt. Like, did you tell this person, what, whomever this is, did you tell them how you truly felt? Because I'm not getting that you did. Like in the mix of it, before you got upset, before you said enough is enough, like before it got to that end point, did you truly say what it is that was on your mind? Because I'm not getting this in this energy. Show me spirit. What's my Virgo's current conflict? Ooh, the sun just popped right on out there. You're not happy. Why is my Virgo not happy, spirit? Five of swords. And the reverse, knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Five of swords is telling me that this is, this is someone that, that's given up. Whether it be you or somebody in this energy, somebody has somebody has tapped out of the fight. Somebody tapped out. Who tapped out, spirit? Strong Leo energy there. Who tapped out? Ace of Wands. Somebody that wanted wanted a new beginning. Somebody here that wanted a new beginning and that new beginning did not happen. Whether this be you or somebody within your energy, somebody tapped out. Somebody no longer wanted to fight for something. Somebody thought one of the one person was crazier than the other person. Somebody here was like, you know what? I'm not happy. This is not going anywhere. I don't see a new beginning here anymore. And the current conflict is that somebody tapped out. Somebody has no more fight for it. Somebody doesn't see the happening. Somebody doesn't see where it's going. The sex has dried up. If there was even sex there, somebody saw that there was no passion. There was no passion to be had, no happiness to be had. And somebody tapped out. That's the current conflict. Somebody tapped out. Show me spirit. And I don't mean to be, I'm just saying it because I feel like I might have said that a little too harsh. Sorry about that. All right, four of pentacles. So in the past, I see somebody here that was holding on extremely tight. There were some insecurities in the past. Show me these four of pentacles spirit for my Virgos. Five of cups. Somebody has some serious insecurities. Somebody has some serious insecurities. Somebody could have spent a lot of nights crying. Somebody could have been overindulging. Somebody hoping and praying. Like somebody was losing their shit though. They were all in their feelings. All in their feel feelings. They couldn't let this go. Wow, that all just slid out. Show me spirit. We have the four of cups here. With the fool, somebody feels foolish. Somebody felt foolish in the past. Somebody felt foolish in the past, whether this be you or somebody within your energy. Guys, remember, flip and switch this energy however you see fit. Somebody's over it. Somebody wants to offer someone. Somebody feels foolish because somebody here offered up. Somebody offered up themselves on a serving platter. 
Somebody offered their heart on a serving platter. Somebody offered their finances on a serving platter. Somebody gave somebody the, the key to their life, to their heart, to their, to their emotions, to their future. Somebody gave someone the key to it all. And somebody feels extremely foolish. Somebody believed. Yeah. Mm, somebody, somebody was left hopeless. Somebody here was left hopeless. Show me spirit. So apparently we're dealing with this is this is definitely have to, having to do with a connection. Whether this is a friendship, a love connection, a family connection, this is definitely a connection. Let's see. Show me my Virgo's feeling spirit. What's my Virgo's feelings regarding this connection? Judgment. Mm, are you doubting your decision? Are you doubt doubting your decision? This is, wow, that all just kind of slid out. I'm not even going to take that. This is giving me just an energy of someone not only doubting their their decision, somebody also contemplating something from the past. Somebody's in thought, somebody in, somebody's somebody's thinking about a decision that they made and they're thinking they made the wrong decision. I feel like, you know, that's oh, these cards want to come out. They have a lot to say. Hmm. I keep getting a whole bunch. Let's see. What is this spirit? Death. Somebody made a decision to end something and somebody's second guessing. I feel like you made a decision. I feel like you made a decision to end something and you're second guessing that decision, that, that decision, that decision. I can't even talk like the words won't even come out my mouth. For some of you guys, it was a decision to end a marriage. I keep seeing these cards. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you guys, you made a decision to end a marriage and you're second guessing that decision. Some of you guys may be contemplating ending a marriage. Weighing your options. Justice. Yeah, yeah. Libra energy. You're indecisive. There's an indecision here. It's a strong indecision. Like we have judgment, death, injustice. Like you're serious. Like this is a this is not a decision that you're taking lightly. This is definitely not a decision that you're that you are making that you're that you're just jumping into that you're just moving forward with. You're going back and forth in this decision, but there's an ending that has to happen here. But with justice here, it's like you're trying to make sure that you do the right thing. Hmm. You're trying to make sure that you do the right thing. What is this spirit? What is this decision? Because I because this is your feelings. This is your feelings, Virgo. What is this decision, spirit? feel like there was many things that that led to this decision that led to this point of where you're at right now present moment it wasn't just one thing there was just many things that kind of just added up what was this spirit breakup separation for some of you guys you took some time apart and then you really and truly knew that it was this was this was it you could have had a breakup, a separation. Some of you guys, you could have felt abandoned by someone here. Somebody could be could have been giving you the silent treatment. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have tried with someone here. You could have really tried. And I feel like that's why this energy is like that was the final, that was the final straw that broke the camel's back, if if that's how they say that. Show me spirit.
healthy choices. Now your your decision, your biggest decision, what you're trying, the, the just decision that you're trying to make. Where you're at right now is trying to make healthy choices in your love life and in life. This is about you loving yourself, caring for yourself, and being happier. You're trying to make healthy choices. The decision that you're having to make, the way that you feel right now, present moment, it says it. You're trying to make healthy choices in love and in life. You want to show yourself. You want to respect yourself. You want to show yourself self-love. You want to care for yourself. And most of all, it's all about you being happier. This is all about you being happier. You're not, this is telling me that you're not trying to hurt someone here. You're trying to help. You're trying to help yourself and you're trying to help the other party that's involved or parties that's involved here. Show me spirit. What is my Virgo's person's feelings? What's my Virgo's person's feelings? The Emperor, Aries energy. So this person is, this person has an ego. This person wants to, I feel like this person wants to have some type of control over you. Yep, Hermit, Virgo energy. But you know, every time I have this card, I pay attention to this snake. I don't know why. It's something about this card. I, in any deck, I pay no attention to stuff like this. And... Sometimes I may draw something out because for some reason it catches my attention and I can't escape it. But every time I pull this hermit card out, I see this snake and it's not about it's not a bad thing when I see this snake. When I see this snake, I feel like this is spirit like warning you, telling you to look before you step. This is like a cautioning. And with the 10 of cups here, this is this is about your happiness. This is like before you jump into something, I just feel like there's like a warning sign. You know how they say like some people, it's like you can't help but what they saying to you because you can't help but see like a for sale sign on their forehead as I see seventeen seventeen on the clock. I feel like this is like kind of like a warning sign, like somebody that's going to, that this person's feelings is someone here that they want in. And they're going to use any means necessary is what I'm getting in this energy. Now, I'm not saying that this person means means you harm or anything of the sort. What I'm saying is like this person has thought long and hard. And this person is truly willing to do whatever it takes to get you to let them in. Show me spirit. But I am getting an energy of this person wanting to be... What is this person's intention, spirit, before I even speak? What is this person's intentions? Well, for my Virgo. Two of Cups. This person, Two of Cups came out in the reverse. This person could have, this person, there, there could be somebody else in this person's life. This person could feel, I just feel like, This person knows that this is a connection. This is definitely a connection. This person definitely wants to be with you. This person definitely wants to be with you. And this person is, I'm getting, I'm really and truly getting an energy of someone that's willing to put in the work. Their intentions though is this two of cups in the reverse. Why is this spirit? The lovers, this person loves you, but this person doesn't know how to, how to make this work. This person loves you, and this, but this person doesn't know how to make this work. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person, show me this person's feelings, spirit. Because, you know, I feel for like a lot of you guys, this person, their ego is, is going to get the best of them or it is getting the best of them. This person truly sees happiness with you. Could be an Aries, another Virgo. And we also have Gemini here. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing, healing the inner child and growth. So this is someone here, this person that's a part of this journey here. This person actually wants growth with you. This person wants to heal 
I feel like this person wants to heal you though. I feel like this person wants to touch something deep within you. I'm definitely getting this in this energy. Like I feel like this is giving me an energy of you being something soft, cuddly, gentle to this person. For some of you guys, I'm definitely getting this is someone else. Like for some of you guys, I feel like this is this could be somebody totally different. Because I'm definitely getting a different energy. For some of you guys, this could be someone that you know. Yes, I'm, I can say that as well. But there's a big energy of, for some of you guys, somebody coming in this, like coming in. I feel like both of these parties you already know, though. I feel like these are, this is two different individuals. For some of you guys, I feel like the person that wants to heal knows you and the person that has actually caused the pain. For somebody here, for some of you guys, this could have been somebody that you had as a friend, but this person always wanted something more with you. And now this person, or at some point, this person sees a window of opportunity is what I'm getting in this energy. A relationship evolving. I feel like something going from a friendship to something more. That's for some of you guys. But then they do, I do have for some of you guys, you have an older, an older gentleman that can offer you this person can offer you a good life this person is manipulative though this person has an ego and this person is controlling this person could be much older than you but there's a disconnect between you and this person but there is feelings and for some of you guys the sex is good with you and this person yeah show me spirit Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Somebody here wants to make memories with you. But I definitely get there's one person that wants to make memories with you. And one person can't stop reminiscing. One person that can't stop looking at, at pictures, keepsakes. Somebody is definitely somebody that you're not talking to. Somebody that feels a soul connection with you. Somebody that loves you. This person sees a lot of happiness with you. This person does. This person could own their own business. This is definitely someone that you've been in separation with for some of you guys. But this person sees happiness with you. This person feels a soul connection with you. But you and this person, you're at a disconnect right now, present moment. But there is love between you and this person. There is love between you and this person. I feel like that's the person that's doing a lot of reminiscing. For some of you guys, you have two different individuals in your energy. One person that could have really and truly been a friend. And there and something there's something shaking up between you and this person. But then I, I feel like there's somebody else in the background that has already that you've already had experiences experiences with. And it's like now it's like, what do you do? Then we have mirror marrying each other. Self image relationship reflects our wounds. This is two people, two people that's experiencing the same pain due to an ending yeah this is two different this is you and someone here experiencing that same pain due to an ending let's see show me spirit what's coming towards my virgos in the near future well the high priestess Something that you don't see. There's something that you don't see coming. You're very desirable. Very intuitive as well. People look up to you. There's a certain spiritual enlightenment that surrounds you. I feel like, like a spiritual globe. Like your presence welcomes like patience and peace. There's a very humble feeling that surrounds you right now present moment show me spirit nine of cups the chariot nine of cups came out in the reverse so whatever is hidden from you you're not gonna be happy about it the hermit again chariot cancer energy 
hermit virgo energy high priestess pisces energy with this nine of cups why are you not happy why are you not content why do i feel like somebody in the near future is coming towards you and you're not going to be happy about that hmm somebody's causing some issues for you because they're coming it's like you're minding your own business in the near future but your intuitions is telling you so why because you look too damn good like you're look you doing too good for yourself and somebody here is coming to knock you knock you down a peg is what i'm hearing and it's not really like that it's like because you're doing good because you look good because you're happy because you're content somebody's coming to disturb that peace <laughs> like i definitely get an energy somebody's coming there to disturb your peace who is this spirit two of cups in the reverse this same i was about to say dang on person <laughs> This same person that feels the disconnect between you and them. That two of cups in reverse again. This is that same person right here that that loves you. That feels like y'all have something. But you don't want to talk to this person. This person is about to, yep, queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So some of you guys, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn this could be your energy. Show me who's this Virgo toward. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This is you. This is you. Mm. I just feel like. And being all honesty, like. That is the most aggravating energy in your near future because all it's telling me is telling me everything good about you. It's telling me that. Like, you know, you're very intuitive. You're so freaking intuitive. Like, smart, beautiful, handsome. You got your shit together. You're this queen of pentacles. You offer stability. You, you, you can lay a solid foundation. You can take care of yourself. Nine of pentacles is telling me you're doing that. It's telling me that you're doing that. But this is also telling me that somebody wants to come in and knock you, knock you down a peg. Somebody here is coming to disturb your peace. Somebody here is coming towards you to cause some type of obstacle in your life. Why? Because they don't like that they can't have you. Uh-uh. Because things aren't going, because things aren't going well for them. You have somebody here that wants to come in and work every nerve that you that you have. Who is this spirit? Who is this that's coming towards my Virgos in the near future? Who is this spirit? A soulmate. Okay. We know this person feels that soul connection with you. So we have soulmate. This could have been somebody that you're in a relationship with or somebody that you were once in a relationship with. Somebody that wants a relationship. Somebody that feels a soul connection with you. Who is this person, spirit? Dating queen. Somebody that you could have dated at some point in time. Or this is somebody here that may date a lot. But this is also telling me this is somebody here that's, walk, that's willing to give that life up for you. This is somebody that's at a distance or, or this is somebody that is that has been distanced from you. This could be somebody traveling towards you. Mm-hmm. Show me spirit. Ice King. Somebody here that's going through a divorce. Somebody here that's an entrepreneur. We saw that. A boss. We saw that. This is somebody that you haven't talked to in a while for some of you guys. But this is somebody that's aggravating. <laughs> like... This person actually just took over an energy here. Like this is somebody that's aggravating because it's somebody that doesn't respect boundaries. This is definitely giving me, yes, I see all of this. I see that this person loves you. I see all that. I see that you and this person have a soul connection. But this is also telling me this is somebody here that doesn't respect boundaries. And in the history of the history of knowing Virgos, like I know Virgos, because first and foremost, I am a Virgo. Let's start there. <laughs> It's like, see, at the bottom of the deck, we see communication coming in. 
sometimes Virgos give in because they just don't want to deal with the drama. And like this, this is giving me an energy of somebody that's going to try and be a pushover. Now in the history of my Virgos from last year to this year, my Virgos have become stronger, wiser, and sh definitely stronger, more mature, more financially stable. My Virgos have found their voice. But I definitely get an energy of somebody here coming in and this person somewhat of a pushover. You're going to receive communication from this person. Yeah. You're definitely going to re be receiving some type of communication from this person. Show me spirit. Let's see. What's in my Virgo's hopes and fears? Let's get away from that person's energy if we can. <laughs> What's... What's in my Virgo's hopes and fears, spirit? Vacation and a divorce. Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wow, some of you guys, your, your hope is for a breakup for a separation for a divorce but for some of you guys that's your fear vacation you will be traveling soon i'm hearing how am i going to survive for somebody here some of you guys the what's in your hopes and your fears is while yes you're welcoming change while yes, you're welcoming a breakup, a separation, a divorce, the fear is what's next. The fear is the unknown. There's a sense of excitement here, but there's also a sense of fear. It's like, I'm hearing like, what's next for my life? Like you didn't expect your life to be where it is right now, present moment. Mm-mm. What's in my Virgo's environment, spirit? Problems. I've been getting that for you guys since last week, though. Like, a lot of you guys could be dealing with individuals. This is not your problem. Let's, let's go there. It could be. It could be. But big energy, this is not your problem. But guys, remember, take things as they resonate, flip, switch, however you see fit. This, it says gambling, problems with addictions or gambling or bad financial finances. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are, because we're going back to the beginning, the beginning of time here, where you're the empress, loving, nurturing, abundant, you know, so caring. You're this king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, loving, like you're just you're willing to you're giving out all your energy you're taking you're you're taking on everybody else's problems you're loving everybody your bird like you're you're helping everybody under the sun in any kind of way shape or form you can it's costing you it's definitely costing you it has cost you 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 get very you get very little very little back in return you get very little back in return you're, you're catering to someone who has some type of addiction. This could be gambling. This could be somebody here that continuously cheats. Somebody here that continuously lies. Somebody here that continuously breaks your trust. Somebody here that makes bad financial decisions. Somebody here that's a gambler. Somebody here that just, they do what they want. This is somebody here that gambles with your happiness, gambles with your life, gambles with your money, gambles with your heart, your emotions, this is somebody that they put all the, this is somebody that doesn't respect your boundaries. Someone here that takes you for granted. You know, that's, 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 that here is your current energy, but this is also within your environment. So this is telling me that this is a big energy that's influencing your happiness right now, present moment. That's a big energy that's influencing it. Whomever this is. Show me spirit. 
What do I need to see for my Virgo's love life? What's influencing my Virgo's love life spirit? Children, somebody that's immature. Somebody that's somebody immature, but I'm also getting. It says for some of you guys, children could be influencing your love life. Yes. But I'm also getting that you are dealing with somebody here that is childish. Somebody here that's younger. Somebody here that. Somebody here that just wants to have fun. I feel like there's a big group of you guys. This is not for everybody, but I feel like there's a big group of you guys. Yes, children could be affecting your love life. Problems with your children could be affecting your love life as well because we did see that for some of you guys, you're dealing with problems with your child right now, present moment. But I'm definitely getting an energy of someone here that just wants to have fun. Someone here that doesn't want to be an adult. Someone here that doesn't want to be responsible. They're not ready for it. You're dealing with somebody that's not ready for it. Who is this spirit? Who is this person in my Virgo's love life? Dating somebody that you've been dating or you were dating. Somebody that you, you're, you have some type of romance with. Somebody that... This is somebody that just likes to have a good time. Somebody that just likes to have a good time. Who is this spirit? Heart down. Fun time. See that? <laughs> That's double confirmation. This is just, this is like four time confirmation of this. This is just somebody that wants to have a good time. The person that you're dealing with right now, present moment in your love life is somebody that really and truly, they're not ready for a commitment. They're not interested in a commitment. This person wants to be with you. Yeah, because you look good. For some of you guys, you look good on this person's arm, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine, but this person only wants to have a good time. This person does not want anything serious. And guys, this could be your energy. Flip and switch it however you see fit because you could just want to have a good time. You could just want to be wined and dine. You could just want to have fun. This could be your energy, but that's what's affecting your love life right now, present moment. Show me spirit. They'll be back. Expect to hear from, from them soon. There's communication coming in. Whomever this is that you're dealing with within your love life or that you were dealing with within your love life, I'm getting whether it's like recently past, present, however it goes, there's communication com coming in. They'll be back. Yeah. Love spell, you've been bewitched. Whether this be you or this person, somebody has been bewitched. See that? Okay. Quite interesting, huh? Let's see. Show me, spirit. What's your advice for my Virgo spirit? What's your advice for my Virgos? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Because I feel like the past is amongst you right now, present moment. I feel like a lot of you guys, that past energy is right here, right now, presently. And I feel like this is spirit giving you the advice that you've been trying to seek. It says the past is now behind you. Because I'm getting an energy that's returning that has kind of been out of your life for a little bit. It's kind of been out of your life for a while. So it's like, where has this energy been? Mm -hmm. It says release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. All right, my loves. If this message resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.